Check it out. Whey protein, not from animals. That's right, this protein is whey protein, technically. It contains beta-lactoglobulin, which is the most abundant protein in whey protein, milk protein, but it was actually produced through fermentation not from a cow. So you're looking at animal-free whey protein, high leucine, complete protein, all the things that you need for muscle growth, but it didn't come from an animal. Let's jump in and talk about where this came from, how it works, and then of course, I'm gonna taste test it and let you know how it is. So off the bat, I think it's important to talk about what beta-lactoglobulin is. This is gonna be the most abundant protein in whey protein. It's what a lot of you look for in the quality of the protein. Now it's important to note that this is grass certified. This ingredient called Whey Forward, it comes from a company called Perfect Day. They make this ingredient and my protein then uses it in their Whey Forward. It's certified grass by the FDA, so this is safe. This ingredient is kind of what whey protein's been touted for for so many of its different health benefits. It's not just a acceptable protein, but all the benefits that are talked about for whey protein. Talk about ACE inhibition, so lowering of blood pressure, antimicrobial activity, anti-carcinogenic activity, actually greater insulin glucagon and blood glucose release, higher plasma leucine concentrations versus other kinds of proteins. This is what people look for in whey protein, but it comes from a completely alternative source. So we're using less water, we're emitting less emissions into the atmosphere. There's a lot of reasons why people might like this. So obviously when we heard about this, we were, we're harboring a safe amount of skepticism because any new ingredient, you know, we want to know more about it. That's why it took us a little bit to get this content together. But I am sure that between the blog that you can go read if you want to, and this video today, you're going to know enough about this ingredient to at least have a more informed decision on whether or not you want to purchase it. So when you compare the amino acid content from this to a typical whey protein, you're going to notice a very similar one. Beta-lactoglobulin, actually, as of 2014, there were 10 different variants of it. So the amino acid content does change. But one thing to note is an extremely or exceedingly or noteworthy high dosage of leucine. Leucine is what so many bodybuilders, athletes, whether strength athlete or uh, physique athletes, or maybe even endurance athletes are looking for. That's gonna be what activates mTOR, causes muscle protein synthesis to increase, but it is lower in proline, serine, and glycine. So if you're looking for that hair, skin, and nail benefit of this protein, I'd recommend you go find a collagen, which my protein does sell as well. So it's worth noting that not all beta-lactoglobulin amino acid contents are the same, but this is gonna be you know, effectively similar to what you find in a milk protein. And as such, if you're an athlete looking for a protein, you may have stayed away from plant proteins due to some of the studies that were shown on the muscle building capability of it not being as great because of lacking amino acids in it. In fact, even when you did add those amino acids like leucine, to that plant protein, studies still show that they underperformed whey protein in muscle growth. So the theory here is that we produce that protein through an animal free source and you get the same thing and have that actual benefit of the whey protein. Now, I don't wanna to get too far into how it's actually made. It's just kind of important to note here, Trichoderma reese, that's a fungal strain, through fermentation produces this ingredient. It's a long branching fungus that can secrete various enzymes. And that's kind of the property that commonly makes its use for both food enzyme and biomass generation. This fungus actually can be transcoded and subjected to different stimuli and environments to produce different outputs. So this is a very programmable substance. Interesting. Sometimes sounds kind of freaky, but in this case, very convenient for us. So in this case, they're actually using a genetic modification of the QM6A strain as its host strain. It's been codon optimized to produce beta-lactoglobulin. Specifically, if you want to read the four-step process, I'd recommend checking out our blog. Mike and our writing team went really far in on the process for this. Mike being the meat guy obviously was a little bit more skeptical than I am. Uh, I don't think that it's super important to convey this in the video. It basically includes a fermentation process, a processing and filtration process, and some other steps. It's very interesting, but I don't think it's important to conveying whether or not you should use this product. What is important is the lack of other proteins in there. Like I mentioned, this is the most prevalent protein in milk proteins and whey proteins, but there are obviously other ones. You may get, have guessed alpha lactoglobulins. This is beta lactoglobulin. It also doesn't have serum albumin immunoglobulins or lactoferrin. Now these actually have separate benefits that we've talked about quite often when we talk about whey protein and its benefits there. Now the FDA obviously granted self-affirmed grass status, like I said, the safety status of this ingredient due to the amount 
of published or unpublished data that they did on the safety of this ingredient. They were able to show safety on the beta lactoglobulin. They were able to show safety on the research of that actual fungus itself, although it really shouldn't be found in meaningful quantities. I did appreciate the fact that they provided that, but I do want to say that I think there should be further uh, data produced on the lack of those other ingredients in there and the difference that this is going to have on an athletic culture. But I'm expecting Perfect Data to do that and probably some other third party uh, groups as well, because I I actually imagine this is going to get quite uh, popular as in 2020, 2021, we had increases in protein prices due to increased dairy usage around the world. But honestly, in America, a lot. I think it was like ice cream consumption was up like 300% during the uh, during the lockdown. Now it is worth noting that there are other ingredients added to this beta lactoglobulin to make it a full protein product that you would uh, be able to consume in a pleasant way. So other things added are gonna be like gums. So cellulose gum is in this one to kind of emulsify it and thicken it. Natural and artificial flavoring, salt, and of course the flavoring system for chocolate that's gonna include cocoa and it is sweetened by sucralose. So that's important to some people. I know some people care about sucralose. I don't personally, we aren't really anti-sucralose people here, but if you are here for a non-animal source of stuff, you may be the kind of person that also cares about artificial sweeteners. That's important to note. Now, I guess it's important to actually get into here. What does it taste like? So for that, I have three shaker bottles and a gallon of water that we're gonna mix this up. The fastest mixing that you guys are ever gonna see. So uh, I'm gonna clap my hands. This all is gonna make its way into the shaker bottle. Boom, fastest mixing ever. So let's get into these. On the right, first we have rich salted caramel. Fungus whey protein. Let's do this. It's a really nice caramel, salty caramel. Okay, really well done. Decadent chocolate brownie. Decadent. It's almost like a, like a rum in there. And finally, creamy mint chocolate chip. Definitely creamy. That is a really thick isolate. For 20 grams of protein in a 27 gram scoop, four grams of carbs and only a half a gram of fat, that is very creamy. Well, I'll tell you what, if you really think about the fact that this came from fungus, it does mess with your head a little bit. But overall, the flavor is great. And we're doing something to try and make a more sustainable product for the industry. And while I do like animal sourced foods, I can respect that. So. If that's something that you care about, or if you just want to try something out, they're safe, they meet label claim, and it's definitely a different product. So I'd say go check out my protein, check out the way forward, and let me know what you think. As always, guys, I do have to say we got this product for free. We do have a business affiliate relationship with my protein. So hopefully that's all out there and we can help you make it a more informed decision on your whey protein purchase, even if it's coming from fungus. Thanks guys for watching and have a great day.